Julia from My Storybook, and today I have a very exciting new interactive read aloud for you, where we are going to travel to a very special place and meet some very special friends. So, my friends, the title of today's interactive read aloud is Land of Lots. So be ready to travel to the land of lots. And what is the land of lots, you might ask? Well, don't you worry, my friends, because we're going to read all about it. But I wanted to show you that this book right here is part of a series of books. You'll see some other books back here. Land of Lots, Plan Jail, and Land of Lots, Plan Page. So this is the first book in the series, and these are books that come next. And a series means a bunch of books about, you know, kind of, kind of have the same characters or s similar in story, and you get to learn a little bit more about the characters in each new book. So this very first book is going to introduce us to all of these friends that are going to show up in the different books in this series. Now, today I'm very excited to get to read with you the very first one, Land of Lots. Okay, so double thumbs up if you're ready to get started. Excellent, let's begin. The title of today's interactive read aloud is Land of Lots, written by Christian Carl and illustrated by Joyce Fan with Chuck and Sue Willis. So a bunch of different illustrators helped to draw all the pictures. That's the illustrator's job. And the author's job is to, do you remember what an author does? All right, the author writes all the words. So written by Christian Carl, they are the author of the book. They wrote all the words we are about to read. Land of Lots, what do you notice about the cover here, my friends, and maybe about the Land of Lots? Right, it kind of looks like outer space. Look at those purples. Oh, but I see some mountains here. These look like some, oh, if I look closely, these look like some heads of some creatures, right? This one kind of looks like a cat. What creatures? Do you recognize any silhouettes? Silhouette is when you only see like the outline, the black part of the creature. Hmm, and then, oh, did you notice this up here? What is that? Oh, I don't know. Well, let's find out. It looks like it's flying through the sky. And I see a little, looks like a little girl in it, maybe a little person in it. Hmm, let's find out. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book, Land of Lots, our author and illustrators, and another picture here. It looks like the same picture as the cover, right? It has a little person up here and some of these creatures down here. Love Lot was just a girl roaming through space. Oh, so it sounds like there's a girl. Her name is Love Lot, and do you see her? Oh, I can't hear my fingers. Ooh, right here, my friends. This is Love Lot, and oh, if you look really closely, there she is, right? A little girl in there, and she's traveling, roaming through space and outer space in this little tiny. What shape is that, my friends? Kind of like a diamond shape, little spaceship kind of. Oh, and she's roaming through space. And what does she see? What do you notice? Looks like she found a planet or a place to land till she came upon a strange and magical place. Ooh, a magical place. And I'll hold it even closer so you can see. Look at that. What do you notice in that magical place? Hmm, I see a lot of colorful mountains and some trees. So she decided to take a closer look. And she's going closer. What's this? Oh, I see a little thought bubble here. It was in a little cloud, and that means, and it's coming from her, so I know that she's talking or thinking that. What's this? She's wondering. Ooh, look at that beautiful land. Notice anything else about it? Yeah, lots of mountains. Again, lots of pretty colors, huh? And so begins our very first book, the first book in the series, right? And there's more books if you want to read more later. The Land of Lot. So she's thinking, ooh, this is the land of lots. So this place is the land of lots. After wandering about everywhere, so she walked all over the land of lots, and she's saying, hello. I guess she didn't see anyone yet. Hello. And ooh, do you see any little creatures on this page? I saw one right here. What kind of creature is that? Yeah, it looks like a little flying caterpillar or something. Hmm. She's like, hello, is anyone there? Ooh, so after wandering around, she discovered the umlauts who lived there. The umlauts, who are the umlauts? There's one, she thinks, and oh, do you see? Do you see the umlaut she spotted? Yeah, can you point to it, my friends? It's right there. And what kind of animal does that umlaut look like? Kind of reminds me of a giraffe, maybe? Let's see. Oh my goodness, there's so many umlauts. It was awkward at first and no one knew what to say. Uh, uh, 
awkward. It's kind of awkward when you meet new friends, huh, my friends? What what might you say when you meet someone new? Hello, let me introduce yourself. What's your name? But look at all these different ooh lots. All these different creatures. What kind of creatures do they remind you of? Right, I see. Maybe this one kind of reminds me of a lion. This one kind of looks like a pig, a giraffe, a porcupine, maybe frog. But they're umlauts, right? So they're not those animals. They're umlaut animals. Then Love Lot broke the ice with a casual hey. She said hi. That's a nice thing to say, right? When you meet someone for the first time. Hey, I'm Love Lot. She introduced herself. Hey, we're the umlauts. And how do they seem, my friends? Do they seem really happy and excited and friendly? Or do they seem kind of like mean and scary and like they don't want to meet her? They seem really excited, like really friendly umlauts, huh? And love luck, she grew to love every single one of them. And look at all these adventures and things they're doing together. Even a cute little picture. What do you notice are some things they're doing? Or what do you see in the pictures? so many fun things right they're hanging out they're catching fish they're like taking fun pictures here all together group picture that's a cute drawing all right my friends so now we're going to read and learn about all the different umlauts and as we're reading about each different one i want you to think about if one of these umlauts kind of sound like you if one of them sounds like you a little bit if you can connect to one of them all right let's meet them she loved cubby oh cubby because he loved to hug lots do you love to hug I love Tug. Even though he held her too tight and wouldn't let go. Mm. Hey, don't you just feel it in your soul, man, says Cubby. Like, you want to hug? And she's like, um, oh, I'm feeling it more on my back right now. She was squeezing a little too hard. But she still loves him, right? Because he gives lots of hugs. She loved Rory because he loved to roar lots. Roar like a lion, my friends. Can you roar like a lion? Wow. Even though he couldn't remember to keep his voice low. So, even though he's really loud, she still loves him. Yeah, let's rock and roar! Oh, he's so loud that what happens? Knocks her off her feet. Or we could rock and whisper, she says. Ooh, that was really loud. <laughs> Ooh, here's another creature. She loved Paige because she loved to read lots. <gasps> Ooh, I like to read lots too. I'm a bit like Paige. Even though she was an uncomfortably clever girl. So she liked to read a lot though. Just a little light reading for me today. Thank you. Oh, is that just a little reading? That's a whole lot of reading. Ah, it's so heavy, right? Light isn't a heavy enough word. That was a bit too many books. Oopsies. She loved Foggy because he loved to daydream lots. Ooh. Even though he was lost in his own little world. Oh, my friends, do you like to daydream? That's when sometimes your imagination carries you away and you're just thinking in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah. Land of lights to Foggy! Come in, Foggy! Uh oh, because oh my goodness, he's daydreaming and what's gonna happen? Yeah, don't walk off the cliff! Foggy, wake up! <laughs> oh, shh, wake up the umicorns, he says. She's like, Ooh, what do you think Peggy loves to do lots of? Looks like cooking or baking. She loved Peggy because she loved to cook lots, even though she couldn't help but make a mess. Sometimes I make a mess when I cook, my friends. What do you like to cook or bake? Are you messy or are you super clean when you cook? Wait until you taste my pancakes, Peggy says. And, ooh, what happens as she's stirring? Aww. That's pretty messy, right? She got it all over Love Lot's face. I think I already have tasted them, she says. It's all over her face. It probably got a little in her mouth. Hope it's tasty. And she loved Bucky because he loved to build lots, even though it wouldn't be wrong to call him careless. So he wasn't always the most careful, though, with all his building materials. Let's see what's going on. Hmm, now where did I put my hammer, he says. Oops, and he's swinging around the wet. Ooh, almost got her. Whoa, it's in your hand, Love Lot said. Oh, well, what do you know? And whoop, whoop, almost hit her again. Ah, I gotta be careful, right, when you're carrying so many pieces of wood and materials. What's something you like to build? Hmm, I wonder, I wonder what Bucky's building. Ooh, and she loved Rainy because she loved to garden lots. Ooh. Ooh, even the leaping before she looked often got her into trouble. So she's a frog, right? She likes to leap and garden and uh-oh, what happened here? She did a big splash that got all over Love Lots. I love puddles! 
little splashing. Oh dear. That makes one of us says love lots. A little too wet. But she still loves her anyways, right? Because love lots loves to love a lot. Uh, oh, here's Gil. What do you think Gil likes to do? Talk, right. <laughs> she loved Gil because he loved to talk lots. Even though his tails were so tall, he needed a bigger speech bubble. Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes I just have to hang on till it's over, she said. Oh, I just have to wait till the story's over, but that's a long story. My friends, do you like to tell stories or do you like to listen to stories better? Yeah, you might even like to do a little bit of both. She loved Jamie because she loved to explore lots. Ooh, even though she could be a little bit too daring. Oh, she's going into that cave. Would you go into a dark, scary cave? <laughs> ah, uh oh, oh, and then looks like they didn't find something too great. Did you have to stick your neck into that cave? Love Lot said it. Oh my, what was in the cave? Adventure was calling, she says. Are we playing tag? Am I it? Says this big monster chasing them. <laughs> She also loved Penny because she loved to knit lots. So knit is when you knit things out of yarn, even though she wasn't a big fan of sharing. Mm. Uh, you can't spare just one ball of yarn. Sorry, but I need it all. What are you knitting? A boat, says Love Lots. Maybe, she says. <laughs> so it does look like she has lots of yarn, but you think she could have shared one? Probably, but Love Lots loves her anyways, because so she has a big heart. Ooh, what do you think Dewey likes to do? Definitely like some berries, right? She loved Dewey because he loved to help lots. That's nice. Are you helpful, my friend? Even though he helped himself more than he cared to admit. So he loves to help, but sometimes he helps himself a bit too much. And oh, what did he do? He's helping pick the berries, but what is he doing with all of them? Eating them for himself. Hey, what happened to all the berries we picked? Says Love Lots. Oh, it's a mystery. She loved Rudy because he loved to laugh lots, even though he could go from happy to sad lickety split. So that means he'd go from happy to sad really quickly. Ha 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 They're laughing. Ha ha ha. And then all of a sudden, what? Dropped his ice cream, crying, crying, crying. And then, oh, what is she doing? She's offering to give him hers. That's really nice of her aunt. Oh, no more crying. Ha 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 ha. Back to laughing. So he goes from happy sad, happy sad really quick, huh? Mm. I think I've had enough for one day, she says. Oh, so she's a bit tired. That was a lot of friends, and they all have really exciting things, right? And also some things they maybe need to work on, but overall, pretty exciting. But that's a lot to handle. It's a lot to play with, right? So that night, Lovelot went back to her ship looking a little weary, looking pretty tired. Must sleep, she says. And look how she's walking, right? Can you walk like her? Just all head down, hunched over, very sleepy walk. She went back and dreamt of how peaceful her life in space used to be. Sleeping sounds. Right back in space, she was all alone, so peaceful. None of these umlauts. But then the next morning, oh, who's that? Do you remember this person? It's Cubby. The next morning, she woke up to a big Cubby grin. And oh, how does she feel to wake up and see Cubby? Pretty happy. I see her smiling there. Hmm. He had a surprise for her and all the umlauts pitched in. Ooh, I know it's not space, but we love having you around the place, Cubby says. Oh. So it sounds like they really like their new friend, Love Lots, right? And they have something special for her. What do you think it is? What's the surprise? Ooh, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it looks like what did they build her? A house painted purple with stars. Let the adventures begin. Oh, my friends, so it looks like a space house. Right? It looks like space with the stars and the purple sky. It has your name right here, Love Lot. And what do you notice all the other animal friends doing? It looks like they're all helped out, right? Or brought something to share, right? Oh, there is our friend who probably built the house. We have our Rory friend who's playing some music. What else do you notice? Peggy, who loved to cook, pass her pancakes are done, right? Uh, oh, he's sharing some berries right here. That's kind of remember the one who ate all the berries. So they all have some way to help and make Love Lots feel welcome. And how does she feel about that? She looks really happy and excited to be one of their friends, right? 
me and my friends and here it shows us again all the different friends that we met and if you count with me count with me to see how many friends we met today so we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve friends we met in here kind of explains again what they liked so my friends i'm gonna read them and then at the end you tell me which one do you feel like you are most like all right so cubby loves to hug lots hey sometimes you just gotta hug it out man Penny loves to knit. What can I say? I'm hooked. Rainy loves to garden lots. Two green thumbs are better than one. Paige loves to read lots. I've got a degree in advanced literature. Jenny loves to explore lots. If it's out there, I'll find it. Foggy loves to daydream lots. I'm in my own little world. Dewey loves to help lots. So many arms, so little time. Bucky loves to build lots. Nailed it. Rory loves to roar lots. Loud's the only way to live. Rudy loves to laugh lots. Well, tickle me feathers. Gail loves to talk lots. Honest to God, I can't swim. Peggy loves to cook lots. Whip it good. <laughs> All right, my friends, so who are you most like? What do you like to do lots of? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe even have more than one that you're really similar to? Yeah, I feel like I'm like Paige. I love to read a lot. And must like Peggy. I really like to cook a lot, so... How fun, my friends. Well, what a fun story getting to meet all those umlauts and get to hang out with Lovelot as she explored the land of lots. And again, my friends, this book is part of the series, so this is just book one. And some of the next books that I have here are you get to learn and hang out a little bit more with Gail and learn and hang out a little bit more with Paige. If you want to check those out, you can find them. They're linked down below in the description. Otherwise, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's interactive read aloud. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to share with me about maybe one of the umlauts you're most like or want to share with me about some of your own fun reading adventures, please reach out to me. You can find me on the blog, on Instagram, here on YouTube. Email me. All the social media links can be found down below. I love hearing from all of you. All right, friends, but that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. If you'd like to read this story and get it for your own, click the link down there in the description. But until next time, my friends, happy reading.